Hi, this is Derek from my hosted website, and in this video, we are going to have a quick look at RunCloud.io. Now, RunCloud.io is the website you can go to. As you can see, we've got got it showing here. It's basically um, a management panel to allow you to manage your PHP web applications and also allow you to manage your VPS server. So, for example, um, as you all know, I, I build a lot of WordPress sites, I develop WordPress applications and uh, software as a service um, platforms based around WordPress. And one of the ways that I manage a lot of my WordPress sites is using RunCloud.io. Um, so I'm going to show you a quick snippet of how we can create, connect and deploy a RunCloud based WordPress environment, which will allow you to have more than one WordPress install on your VPS server. Let's just have a quick look through their website so you can get an idea as to how RunCloud.io actually works. Um, as you can see here, there's some of their feature sets here, it's fast deployment, zero configuration, well, almost, uh, secured panel, um, you get 24-7 server health monitoring, direct notifications, and auto updates on your sites. So let's get started. Let's jump into this. I've already got an account, um, and we're going to show you how we use RunCloud IO. So I'm going to switch over. I've already logged in uh, to my account here. So you go to RunCloud IO. Yeah, you can use the, uh, the uh, link in the description to get your account up and running. Um, what we need to do now is, is connect a new server. Now your server uh, can be a VPS server by many uh, other providers such as DigitalOcean, Linode, uh, Vulture, um, and various other AWS, uh, Amazon AWS, you can use their servers. It's up to you wherever you want your server. So we're going to say connect a server here. And now it's going to ask us for the name of our server. This is just purely a name for you that you can remember that server by within your control panel. Panel. So let's just type in run cloud test, for example. Now let's get, now I've already created a VPS on DigitalOcean just for this uh, example. So I'm just going to go off and get the details for that, get the IP address for that uh, VPS. If you need to know about how to set up DigitalOcean VPSs, have a look in my YouTube channel. I've got a video showing you how to set up your DigitalOcean server. Um, so we've got an IP address for our server and we can just type in who the provider is inside here, DigitalOcean, and connect to this server. So it goes away and it gives us this code that we now need to log in on our server and enter this information. So bear with me while I go and do that. Let's go, let's just. Okay, so now we're logged into our server. I'm just gonna copy this code here that we need to run on the server. I'm going to bring my server into view now so you can see we're logged in on our server here and we're going to paste that code here and hit enter. Now that's going to go off and do its run cloud, uh, download its run cloud packages and configuration to configure the server for use with our run cloud uh, control panel. So we'll just wait for this to finish. Okay, so now our run, run cloud script has finished its installation. As you can see, it's now uh, taken us to this page where it's given us a nice user interface showing us the CPU, our current digital ocean CPU that, uh, sorry, VPS that we have uh, set up. So we've got a one core C, uh, CPU VPS with memory, one gig of memory, 25 gig of hard drive space. And that whole installation has taken roughly around five to six minutes. So um, we just cut the video there so that we can 
get straight back to it. So we are now in the control panel of RunCloud. And as you can see, it's quite a nice control panel actually compared to some that I've seen. Um, you have all of your features down the side here. We're gonna go through all of these now. So you can see, it tells you what is the current status of your VPS, how many applications and databases and cron jobs and um, services you've currently got running where your server is actually located. So let's look, go through uh, these tabs here. So we've got the summary, which is what we're looking at now. Uh, server health is going to tell us how what's the load on our server. Obviously, it's an empty server. So there's nothing on there as yet. Uh, web applications, we haven't installed any yet. Database, we don't have any databases as yet. And we're not uh, running any... Um, supervisor control jobs as such cron jobs we haven't got any as yet uh, you have a multiple choice of php versions so you can go from php 5.5 right up to 7.2 which i believe is the latest version at the moment as this video was made um, deployment keys can be used if you're using uh, git to to push and pull uh, uh, git information from your github account you can use it with this uh, notifications for slack you can use slack as well there's all kinds of integrations telegram etc um, obviously there's nothing in the log yet because we've not got anything uh, any services running as yet but that's where you'll find uh, more information there service as you can see we have at our disposal nginx uh, uh, HTTP, Apache, uh, MariaDB, uh, Redis, Memcache, and Beanstalk. A lot of these services, well, I the only services I tend to use here are going to be Nginx um, and MariaDB for my WordPress uh, database, um, websites and database. So, uh, security, basic firewall stuff. Uh, this is more advanced for those that need to... Um, have a more have more control over the platform um, you can also look at if you've had any um, brute force attempts on your sites you'll see a list of the ip addresses um, they run uh, fail to ban is one of the um, scripts that they run on your server uh, to help prevent uh, ssh brute force attacks so you'll have a list of that information here as well uh, user IDs, login accounts for the platform. Root is um, a hardwired account, which you can't change any details on. Run Cloud, you can change the password. So you can use this for logging into your sites via SFTP. Uh, SSH keys, again, this is to be able to log in uh, using a public key once you set them up. And just basic settings. So let's go ahead and create our first WordPress website on the server. So we can do that by going to web application and, and saying create an application. Uh, this we're just going to call it run cloud again. This is for your um, internal use. And our domain that we're going to use, let me see if I've got something i've got something set up already and let's get that done Okay, so I've just set up a subdomain on my own domain just for the purpose of this demonstration. So runcloud.myhostedwebsite.com is what we're going to use for our website. We're just going to choose the latest version of PHP here. And web application stack, you've got Nginx and Apache Hybrid. Uh, which is quite useful because uh, you'll be able to use your .htx access. This might come in handy if you've got a more um, complicated uh, configura WordPress configuration that you're trying to set up, for example, if you want to use a uh, multi-site or something like that. So I'm going to leave that setting as standard, but you can see the other options here. 
you can just have a native nginx but you won't have your hcc access but it is faster so if you're looking for speed native nginx is the way to go so you can select that okay um and that's all advanced settings we don't need to worry about that and what we're going to do now is click on add web application okay and that has now added our web application now what we're going to do now we're going to use their script installer to install wordpress which is really quick and easy we don't have to worry about downloading the latest version of wordpress and then unzipping it into the folder and all of this stuff we can do it via script here um, they have various php um, applications in script form that can be installed on the application you've just set up we're going to go down until we find wordpress and click on install and it's as quickly as that it's installed now we just need to set up the database and user for that database so all we do now now that we've installed the script we can go back to summary so back to web apps we can see our application is here already set up now we're going to go down to a database and we're going to create a database and the database name we're just going to call it run cloud just to keep it simple uh, collation is optional we don't need to set that unless you have a specific reason to change that you can just leave it as that add database now we need to attach a user to this database so we're going to click on attach a user here uh, sorry, my mistake. We need to create the user first, don't we? So let's go back to let's go back to database and create the database user. And again, we'll just call this Run Cloud, and we will generate a password. Now, this is the password. I mean, you can have this set up how you want. I prefer using their default settings because it makes it a secure password for your database, and you can copy that password here. Very important you do this because um, it's going to help us later on in the setup. So we copy the password and we're going to use this password and we're going to attach the database, uh, the database user within RunCloud. So now we've got our database which is called RunCloud and we've got our database user which is called RunCloud, but we need to now attach the user to the database. So we just click here, attach user, and select the user from the drop down list which is called RunCloud attach the user and now we've got our database and our user attached uh, to that database so now all we need to do is go to our domain for the newly created run cloud at my hosted website dot com and hopefully we should see a WordPress install. Great, so we've got our WordPress install. We're gonna click on continue. And then we're gonna to go to create the database and name. Now the database name, if you remember, was called RunCloud. And the username is RunCloud. The password we copied, remember that's the important step, but now we're gonna paste our password in here, which I've just done control V, or command V if you're on Mac. Um, and the local host stays as local host and the table prefix, you can have this as what you want, whatever you want. This is the default setting WP underscore. We'll click on submit. As you can see, you get the standard message, database is fine, run the installation. And now we can type in our name of our website Run crowd example username is me. Let's just um, use the same password that we just had. And now we can log in. Our name as we had and our password. And there you have your installed version of WordPress and the latest version 4.96 running. Simple as that, really easy to set up. Let's jump back over to our control panel. So now if we go to summary, 
you can see now we've got one app web application, one database. Um, it tells us memory usage, disk usage, etc. So you've got good monitoring um, services here that you can monitor everything. You can restart Apache or Nginx if there was an issue. So overall, it's a really good control panel. I like the UI. I like how simple it is to use. As I said, now you can install as many applications as you can fit on your VPS. Um, obviously, if you look at the VPS that we currently have, it's just a one core with one gig of memory and 25 gigs of storage space. Um, I've You can actually fit um, five, six, seven, ten or more small WordPress installations, ones without, you know, that don't have too much traffic going to them. You'll be able to easily uh, manage multiple WordPress installations on a small VPS from DigitalOcean of this size. So there you have it. That was just really a quick walkthrough of RunCloud, the uh, management control panel um, that you can get access to and be up and running. If you look at the links in the description, there is a free trial. If you use my link, you'll get a free trial of the service. Uh, and I also have a special link for a $10 credit to DigitalOcean. So you can get, you can do exactly what I've just done and have your own uh, multiple WordPress configuration server set up and running if you have uh, a few sites that you would like to run on one VPS. This is probably one of the best ways to go about doing it. That's it for now, guys. I will see you in another video. I hope this was useful for those of you looking for a solution uh, to host multiple WordPress sites. Uh, give it a go. Uh, any issues or any comments, please leave them in the comment section below the video. Speak to you soon.